on your side. Good morning, Washington. I'm Annalisa Gale. I take a look at this video just into the newsroom. Thank you for joining us this Saturday afternoon. Happening now, Arlington County board members are deciding whether to give Amazon final approval. And the debate over guns in America continues. Now to the other major political story dominating headlines. And President Trump spent his Saturday lashing out. 24-7 News. I love that football Sunday will look a lot drier tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I will actually see sunshine. Yeah, I can tell you that several city officials are here following that quadruple shooting. This is a kind of smoke that is absolutely unbearable. These are some of the barriers that we're already starting to see here in the park. Coming up, I'll tell you all about the local teams that scored the opportunity of a lifetime. People are having lots of fun here in Dupont Circle. Some people taking selfies. I even showed the senator his number a few minutes ago and he was a, a bit surprised. Tell us a little bit about why you decided to come to Southeast today and how are you feeling about this moment? Oh, we're really excited to be here. I feel like I definitely wore the right color today. I certainly hope I have the winning ticket. I just thought it was just the sweetest, most thoughtful gift ever. Uh, Sophia, how did you pull this off in the first place? I don't even know. <laughs> I, um, I, it took me, I was thinking of trying to get him a good gift. In this section of Chinatown, one thing you can always count on is music. Waiting on the world to change. Uh, my name is Kenny Sway. I was born and raised in Sea Plaza, Maryland. Man in the river. I've been doing music since I was five years old. Kendrick Lights, who goes by the stage name Kenny Sway, usually spends a day performing for anyone who is willing to watch. She loves day. On Wednesday afternoon, he caught Mary Evelyn's eye outside the Gallery Place Metro Station. The 11-year-old who suffers from Down syndrome is from Raleigh, North Carolina. She was visiting with her family. We had gotten some lunch and we were walking to go get a drink and we heard this music and I said, is that a band? Is there her a sister Annie O'Neill was standing by her side when this happened. I don't think of you. She kind of walked up to me and, and I pulled her, you know, I pulled her in. Mary Evelyn held on to Light's hand as he serenaded her. Light's sister was streaming the performance through Facebook Live. That video now has more than 900,000 views. She and I created an experience, an experience of freedom, an experience of love. It's a moment Mary Evelyn is proud of. Her mother Mary Ryder is thankful that Light's shared the love. A lot of tensions in our world and um, especially there's been a lot of racial tensions this year and we are people who believe in love for everyone. I love you! The neighbors were so happy this weekend when it rained just because it got rid of some of this stench. They say they weren't sure how they would have gotten rid of all of this stuff before we got here, but tonight they'll go to sleep knowing that all of this will disappear tomorrow. Mostly household stuff, furniture. For nearly two weeks, neighbor Audrey Clark says she has been forced to look at this huge pile of garbage when she steps outside her home. Old sofas, as you can see, um, bookshelves. When people start rummaging through it, there's actually rats running out of it. So <laughs> it is crazy. She says her major concerns are the health hazards. For the county, I thought it was going to be easy. As Seven on Your Side found out, things were complicated since the vacant home was sold last month. We talked to a woman over the phone who is associated with the former owner. She says the former tenants were recently evicted, resulting in the mess in the front yard. The renters would not pick up the rest of the stuff. The new homeowners claimed that they also called the county for a pickup, but they couldn't afford the service. They've been trying to find a private company in their price range after purchasing the house. The Department of Public Works says they weren't aware of the issues until we called them. Based on our operations guy, um, we hadn't received any notification. We were promised that the mess would be cleaned up in 24 hours. Even Fairfax County for crying out loud. We shouldn't have to see this. We promise that we will pick it up tomorrow. That's good. 
And we know that the new owners just purchased this house on April 23rd. So as you can imagine, they're hoping they won't be responsible for a huge bill. But at this point, that is unclear. Live from Fairfax County. Chaotic for sure. The big thing today is that Democrats wanted to postpone the hearing so that they could review thousands of documents. Meanwhile, President Trump weighing in saying that today's hearing was sad to see. Before Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh could even deliver his opening statement, his confirmation hearing was trending on Twitter along with the committee chairman who was constantly interrupted by Democrats. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to be recognized to ask a question before we proceed. I asked my colleagues uh, on the other side of the aisle how long you want to, to go on with this because I'm not going to entertain any of the motions you're making. By the end of the first day of hearings, at least 70 people were arrested on charges including disorderly conduct. Despite the opposition he faced, Kavanaugh says he's remaining positive about the days ahead. I am optimistic about the future of America. If confirmed to the Supreme Court, I will keep an open mind in every case. President Trump is also standing by his pick, saying, quote, Judge Kavanaugh has impeccable credentials, unsurpassed qualifications, and a proven commitment to equal justice under the law. And tomorrow's hearing will also be one to watch. You can start watching it at 9.30 a.m. when it goes live on our Facebook page. You can also download our ABC7 News app. Live from the Capitol tonight, Annalisa, ABC7 News. Annalisa, thanks. And if